Hi everyone, Lily Brooks O'Brien here and welcome to Quarantine Questions. This is something I've wanted to do since COVID-19 started. I am so lucky to have friends from all over the United States, but I've been really worried, anxious, and wondering about how they've all been doing. I mean, we see things on the news about COVID-19 all the time, but we never really hear about how it's affecting teens. So I decided that our story should be told during this time. I would love to get interviews from teens all over the United States, but this first episode is from the hardest hit state with almost 200,000 cases and my former home, New York. I lived in NYC for three years and I've been really worried about all my friends who live there. Keep watching to see the first episode of Quarantine Questions with interviews from kids all over New York. Thanks for watching. Hi Molly, how are you? Hi, I'm great, how are you? I'm pretty good. So I first just wanna ask so that everyone knows, what is your name and where are you from? My name is Molly Richardson and I'm from New York City. Awesome. So I guess one of the first questions that I wanted to ask you is, how are you doing and how has COVID-19 kind of affected your life? Yeah, so I tested positive about three weeks ago and my first symptoms were actually exactly three weeks ago from tomorrow. So I'm pretty much over it now. I'm doing great. And I was really lucky that I had very mild symptoms. Um, and for me, that was a pretty bad headache. I was kind of dizzy and I did have a fever. It went up to 101.7. So those were pretty much my only symptoms. And it, was, it felt kind of like a cold, like a bad cold. Mm -hmm. And I, I had the fever. And so I went to the doctor First, I called the doctor to ask, like, do you think I should even come in? Because there are people who are, you know, having much worse symptoms than I am. And so I was surprised when she said, come in and we might have to test you. So when I went, I told them that I had the fever and they were like, okay, yeah, I guess, you know, we'll test you. And I was surprised because there aren't a lot of tests and they're not really testing people with mild symptoms, but my doctor just happened to have a test. So that was kind of like a fluke, but um, I happen to be positive and I'm doing great now. I don't have any symptoms. Awesome. So I, yeah, I was pretty lucky. Yeah. So you're doing school at home, correct? Yes. Yeah. So how's that going? It's going pretty well. The teachers are giving us a lot of, a lot of work. Mm -hmm. um, a little actually more work than I have in school, which is kind of weird because in school, my classes are 45 minutes, but on my Zoom classes, they tend to be over an hour. So that's interesting, but it's, I think it's good because they give us assignments on Monday and they have them due Sunday. So we just have to figure out like when we want to do it with our own time. Yeah. So I, it's a lot more like independent. Yeah, I, I have the same thing where all my assignments are due on Sunday and I get them mm -hmm. all on Monday. Um, I go to, I. I was already homeschooled before, so the class oh, yeah. really affected my school life at all, um, just that I can't go out and hang out with friends and stuff. Yeah. But um, I guess something else I wanted to ask is, I've had a bit of trouble trying to stay occupied at home without yeah. being able to go out and see my friends. Um, what have you mm -hmm. been doing to kind of keep yourself occupied? And yeah, How, what have you been doing to enjoy this time? Well, besides school, which does take up a lot of time for me, I've been watching some TV shows. I started The Office, and I've been watching movies like, oh, I'm a big fan of Saoirse Ronan, so I've been watching a bunch of her movies, and I've also been dancing at Dance Millinery, which I know you've been doing also, so that's a fun thing to, like, keep you, um, you know, exercising, and because I, I usually would go to dance every Saturday, and now that obviously we can't go, they're doing online classes, which is great. So I really enjoyed Dance yeah. Mary's online classes. It's really helped me to yeah. stay active during all of this. And mm -hmm. I just really have enjoyed it a lot. Me too. Um, one thing that I started doing is I started learning more guitar. Um, so is there anything that you have been, or have you started learning something new during all of, during quarantine? Well, I guess one thing is that um, 
during like back when I went to school um every morning I just have oatmeal for breakfast like every single morning and every single like for lunch I just bring the same thing every single day so something that I've been doing is just making like different things each day for 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 lunch and for breakfast and I'm vegan so so um I've been ordering in some ingredients and my dad actually just today went out to the grocery store to get stuff because we haven't been able to be out of the house for the last like three or so weeks because I mean yeah I tested positive but yeah learning how to like cook for yourself and yeah, make awesome. new foods. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love cooking and I love baking and stuff. So mm -hmm. I've been doing a lot of cooking and baking just because I have way more time to. Yeah. And I just, I, I love cooking and I love baking. So it is something that has kept me very occupied during all of this. Um, something that I just wanted to ask everyone is, is there something good or positive that's going on in your community? Just to keep things yeah. right and happy. Yeah, so every night at 7 p.m. in New York City, all, I think definitely in Manhattan, I'm not sure if other places are doing it too, but people are going onto their balconies or their terraces or sticking their heads out of their windows and clapping for all the healthcare workers and for every, every essential worker who's been, you know, still going to work and doing their job even in this pandemic. And so that's definitely been um, a great thing. And sometimes we like bring, it, bring out pans and just like, <laughs> use those to clap also so that's great and another thing is mount sinai which is one of the hospitals in new york they're doing this program where if you tested positive or if you are pretty sure that you had it you can actually test for immunity to see if you have the antibodies and donate your plasma to save a life and so i tried to do that and they called me and i got an appointment to go there and unfortunately, they were like, oh, you have to be 17 or 18, and I'm 16. So I wasn't able to do that, but my mom actually did it instead. That's so, awesome. yeah, so, and a lot of people are doing it, which is great. That's awesome. So I know that NYC is one of the bigger states in, in, in the United States that has mm -hmm. the most cases. Um, yeah. How has it been living in New York City during all of this? Yeah, so just a few weeks ago, I remember being outside and like, maybe there would be a few people wearing masks. And this was like, even after school was canceled for a couple of days before I, I before I had symptoms, um, people were still, you know, going outside, going to, you know, restaurants. But now, pretty much everything is closed, but the restaurants, they're doing takeout, but you can't go in. So there have been, like, if I, if I looked out the window now, I'd see, like, maybe four people, and one of my best friends lives in Times Square, and there's, like, no one, so it's a little weird, but there are still people, like, people are still, you know, going outside and getting their groceries, yeah. so it's nice, like, if, I know a lot of people are, you know, going to their country house, but I feel like if you go to your country house, for me at least, you don't get to, like, look out the window and see people walking on the street. So it's nice to be in a city where there are still people. Yeah, I love being in the city. Um, thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thank um, you for doing this. Hi, everyone. This is Will Coombs. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Um, I'm Will. I'm 13 years old and I live in New York City. Awesome. So how are you doing and how has COVID-19 affected you? I'm doing great, uh, mostly, but it's definitely changed my at-home life for sure. And um, taking it to a more personal level, since my dad is a healthcare worker, mm -hmm. it's definitely affected my, in general, way of living. And I really try to balance him getting enough sleep because he's working nights and also trying to get as much time to hang it with him as possible. So yeah. I know it must be kind of scary with your dad being a healthcare worker just because he's on the front lines and it's so incredible that he is doing this. I mean, it's so inspirational, but I know it must be a little bit scary for sure. Yeah, definitely. I mean, just having to see him go in every night and fight this horrible, horrible virus and just all the healthcare workers, I feel like everyone should be so grateful for them because they're working so incredibly hard. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so I know a lot of kids have been moving from going to school, like in person, to online school. So what has that been like for you? Um, online school, I've done it before. I did it when I did the Matilda National Tour. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a little bit difficult then. But knowing that I'm an unorganized person, um, it's really hard to keep all my papers together. Yeah. So having it all online is actually so, so helpful. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely a really helpful thing. I'm the opposite. I'm a very organized person, but I feel like for people who are, it takes them a little bit to get organized. I feel like it's definitely helpful to have everything on the computer instead of with papers and, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, so something that I have been struggling with, and I know a lot of kids have, is figuring out what to do other than school while they're at home all the time. So what's something that you've been doing to keep, to keep yourself occupied? I mean, there's only show, so many TV shows and movies you can watch on Netflix. So once I finished all the ones that I'm interested in, um, I've been reading a lot. I've been playing guitar um, and drawing. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, so something that I've been doing is learning learning new songs on the guitar. I actually just started like learning how to draw things as well. So what's something that you've been doing or what's something that you've started to learn have you started learning something new or learning, have you learned anything new about yourself during all of this? So yeah, something like that. Um, well, I actually picked up new things. So like guitar, I actually kind of dropped it for a while, but with all of this going on, I picked uh, guitar back up because I really feel like if I had the time, I could really learn and own um, the ability to play the guitar. Yeah. Um, Pick that back up recently. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, well, the last question would be, what is something good or positive that's been going on in your community? Well, every single night at seven o'clock, everyone claps, and I think that's happening a lot around the U.S. and yeah. every, and the world. Um, and I guess just everyone in New York is staying in, and it's it's so shocking to see the streets completely empty but it's it's actually so important and i'm i'm really proud of the city for just staying in i mean with such a busy city to only have two people on the street at one time it's 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 crazy yeah i lived in new york city for three years so i have never seen like seeing pictures of new york city like right now i've never seen new york city like this i mean it is the hardest hit state right now so it's definitely really weird seeing no one on the street at all yeah. Yeah. Really. Well, thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it, Will. Yeah, it was really good seeing you. Yeah, it was really nice seeing you. Bye, Will. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. This is Luke Islam. We know each other from doing um, Shrek Jr. at Broadway Workshop. Um, we're good friends, and I'm so excited that he can be here joining me today. Hi, Luke. Thank you for having me. How are you? Oh, no problem. I'm good. How are you? Great. Thank you. Awesome. So can you just introduce yourself, telling everyone where you live, how old you are, and how COVID-19 has affected your life? Sure. So my name is Luke Islam. I'm from uh, Garden City, New York, and um, I have just, you know, it's affected me in a lot of ways, actually, because I just switched to online school. Um, I'm not, like, in an online school program, but my school switched for now because I go to a public school. Um, I haven't really been out much, um, as many of us, and um, I've just been, you know, singing a lot and doing as many things as I can to help other people who are in need, um, especially actors who are out of work and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. So, I guess something else that a lot that you talked a little bit, a little bit about, but a lot of people are struggling with is adapting to online school. So how has that been for you? Um, it's actually been a lot easier because um, my classes start at like eight and usually end at three, but I'm done in like about three hours or four hours. Um, it's different. Um, it's like exactly how it is in school because most of our work in school is already online. But um, it's a little bit tricky because there's no one to really explain it to you. Um, and you have to just do it all on your own. So that's been something to get used to. It's definitely tricky for sure. Something that we're, that everyone is struggling with, myself included, is figuring out how to stay occupied during 
quarantine and staying at home, what is mm -hmm. something that you've been doing to keep yourself occupied? Um, I have been watching a lot of Netflix because I am not like a show binger. That's never really what I would do, but I've been doing that. And I've been watching a lot of different shows. And I, besides that, I have just been like, you know, just like helping my mom cook, um, making some new things in the kitchen and um, singing a lot. That's something that I just will randomly start doing. Yeah, well, make sure to watch The Big Show Show. It's out on Netflix. So, oh, yes, I heard about that. And yeah, you're going to be there. Right? Yeah. Well, make sure to watch it. And I've been doing a lot of cooking as well. So yeah. something else that a lot of people have been doing is learning something new. Have you started to learn anything new? Um. So there's this app called Duolingo. And it's like where they teach you like what languages. I take Spanish in school. But um, I'm not really great at it. So I've just been like doing that and learning yeah. a bunch of new things. Yeah. yeah, I have Duolingo as well and I, I do French. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, so something, this, this quarantine questions, I've been trying to keep it very positive and have it be a place where teens can kind of talk about how they're feeling and how COVID-19 has affected their life. Cause not a lot of people think about how it's affecting kids cause it's just, you know, sometimes different. But yeah. what's something good or positive that's going on in your community that has made you feel happy or made you feel like everyone is in this together? Um, so I live in like a very suburban, quiet area. So um, I don't really get a lot of rest because I'm always busy with something and I find something to make myself, you know, set on. So um, it's just been nice to like, take a deep breath and relax because I just got out of filming for a month so well a month ago I got out of filming for a month so um I've just had this month this past month to like just take a deep breath and like relax a little bit and like kind of really appreciate what I have at home because I'm not going to be home a lot after quarantine um and yeah just like really appreciating everything that I have around me and I've found out a lot of new things about my house that I didn't even know, so. Yeah, so how, I know you're on Mighty Ducks, which you which is on Disney Plus, or it will be on Disney Plus. Yeah. So how was filming for that? It's, it's really like a once in a lifetime experience. I mean, it's crazy to think that like, this big movie is gonna be, there's gonna be a reboot. Um, and filming is going great. I met a lot of new friends and there are so many kids on the team. So it's really cool to just see like all these young actors like pursuing their dreams just like me and meeting a lot of new people. And I've never done like a scripted show, like a TV show. So um, I've done, you know, America's Got Talent it was very unique because it's like, it's not anything like you would get a script and you have to, adapt to it and do this big fantasy sh show not fantasy but like realistic fiction so it's like it's a whole new experience a very new yeah well thank you so much for doing this with me i really appreciate yes, it of course make sure to stay safe i really hope that your family is staying happy and healthy and oh, thank you. Show your hands. yeah <laughs> thank you so much bye thank you bye hi everyone this is ty sandu we met each other at Matilda Auditions, and then we went to school together in, at, in sixth grade at PPAS. Um, so, hi, Ty. How are you? Hi. Uh, I'm Ty. I'm 13, and I live in New York. Awesome. So, first off, how are you? How are you doing? I'm doing really well. I think this is, it's working out for me. I like staying at home more, even though I do miss people. I feel like I'm still sort of connecting with them. Yeah. Almost a little bit more. Yeah. It's weird. So the other thing is, like, the big question is, how has COVID-19 affected you? Um, I think that it's, it's definitely because I live in a place where there's always a lot of people, you know, outside or anywhere. It's just, like, weird to see, because New York is always, everyone's always moving around, you know, everyone's out and about all the time. Yeah. And the places where you would normally find people everywhere, like today I went to a park on, like, sort of like a beach, 
And on a normal day, if this wasn't happening right now, there would be so many people there. I know it. But there were there was we were the only family there pretty much. That is crazy. Just like it's kind of crazy. Um you know, a lot of people that I know have gotten the virus, including my mom. <laughs> and I think it's how it's it's just wild how quick quickly it spread. Yeah. So how is your mom feeling? Oh, she she's feeling a lot better. Uh her yeah, she's feeling so much better than, you know, a week ago, but um still, you know, staying inside. But um you know, she's feeling much better. That's awesome. Well, I'm so glad that she's feeling better for sure. Thank you. You know that, like, New York is such, right, right now, it's the state with the most cases in the U.S. Yeah. Um, it has, I think, 120,000 cases, which is insane. Yeah. And, I mean, it does make sense that New York has the, ma- the most cases, though, because in New York, everyone is always so close together. Yeah, it's for always, sure. Especially, like, in the, the Times Square area, mm-hmm. we're, like, packed together and... It's very small, but with, like, a lot of people. Yeah, there's no place that you're truly alone, ever. There's no place that you can, like, really be six feet apart from people. Yeah. And I know that, like, right now, like, 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 like you were saying, there's, like, no one outside because everyone's trying to stay home and stay six feet away from people and maintain social distancing. And it just must be crazy to be in that city when, like, it's normally so busy and it's, like, a ghost town now because of the coronavirus. Yeah. It totally is. It's just, it's just, like, weird to see, because I've lived here all my life. Yeah. And I've never seen people like this. And I, I'm sure that there has not been a time other than now that it's been. Yeah, and you probably, you lived in a place where there's more people, probably, than I, because I live in a more, you know, a little, still not secluded, but, you know. Well, something I know that we're all having a bit of a hard time with is figuring out what to do during quarantine besides school. So yeah. it's something that you've been doing to keep yourself occupied. Oh, I've been, okay, I've taken up a couple things. I've been watching uh, Tiger King, uh, which <laughs> it's, um, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, yeah, I, it, it's a pretty good time that it, it, it came out at a good time because it kept me occupied, but I finished it. And I've been, I got this really cool, you know, um, adult coloring book, which is really fun because it kind of takes up a lot of my time. So it gives me something to focus on from the Chicago Institute that's where the coloring book is from so it's like actual paintings um so it's yeah um I've been what else have I been doing I mean I've been working out more but I guess you know because I've been taking dance classes um so I guess I I don't know if it'd be replacing it but I don't know I just I that's just something I've never had time to do before because I'm you know always outside of my house um I'm playing the Sims <laughs> a lot because I stopped. Oh, I've been practicing my ukulele. I've just been doing a lot of things that I, um, I never have the time to do. Yeah. And because like yeah. To do things that you really wanted to do, but like. Yeah. The time oh, I've been cooking a lot. That's that's another thing I forgot. Um, I don't cook often, but I I made beignets the other day. It's yep. really good. I love beignets. Yeah. I guess the 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 other thing I wanted to ask you is, a bunch of different communities have been like doing things that have helped other people yeah. getting groceries and having uh, getting like having websites where people can contact other people to get groceries for someone else that is older so that they don't want to go out because they have a higher chance of getting the virus. So mm-hmm. what is something that your community has been doing that is good or positive? Well, my neighborhood has been, um, they, there's a fundraiser where they donate money for, to buy food from the um, from local restaurants, which support small businesses, because restaurants, obviously, people have to congregate, so they're really hard hit during this time. Sure. So they buy the food from the restaurants, and then the food from the restaurants, they give to the healthcare workers who are on the front line, which, so it's kind of killing two birds with one stone almost. Yeah. Um, that's really cool, in my opinion. And then also, well, that's more of in my community, but in New York City as a whole, um, not so much where I live, but in Manhattan, um, every, I think at 7 p.m. every night, everyone gets out on their balcony or they open their window and they cheer for the healthcare workers. That's and it's, I mean, I've seen videos because I've never been, I haven't been in Manhattan in a while, um, but I've seen videos and it's like, it's because there's no one on the street 
but the entire, you know, everywhere you can just hear, it's like fireworks almost, it's really cool. Amazing, that's amazing. We've been trying to do it out in our apartment building on our balcony, which is right yeah. today, but not a lot of people in our area have been doing it, sadly, but we're yeah. trying to be able to do it. Um, so we're, we've been trying to do it at eight o'clock every night as well. So yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for doing this time. Thank you for having me. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Make sure okay. you healthy and happy, and I'll, I'll be praying for your family. You too. Wash your hands. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks so much for watching the first episode of Quarantine Questions. Make sure to tune in for more episodes. Bye. Thanks for watching.